I just wanted to see absinthe. All is absolute and fair. Just. Are you alone? They're going to make him the. It's the. But if the people wish me to. Speaking of men, there may be a rather. May there. I'm afraid the example Conrad and Natalie set. And they. They have formed what one could. And they grow more. We'll fight them all, won't we? Of course, the longer we avoid our best by finding, perhaps. How could I refuse? <laughs> Thank you, my lord. Victor will I have him I'll go in. What's the difference it's between the Lord and Everyone around town saying Master Lord. That's easy. A League of Outlaws. Sounds like we have some competition. Still in Dalamil, Victor. Ah, Sid. I thought you'd have returned to Kostnis by now. I did. Then I came back. I've developed something of a fondness for the place. And having worked so hard to see it saved from one fate, it would seem remiss to abandon it to another. A sentiment Master Lubor certainly isn't shy about exploiting. Hence my doing his bidding yet again. You're not the only one. <laughs> what does he want you to do? He asked for my aid in putting down the bandits. And he said that you might be able to help me find them. Then you've come at just the right time. I was on my way to speak with Conrad about how to organize our forces. There are more camps in the vicinity than we can safely strike at once. But we must strike together, and we must strike soon at as many camps as we can. We can't give this League of theirs time to rally its forces. All right. Which camp shall I take? There's one upriver. Just out there, across the dunes. Leave it with me. Dwells want to band together. That must be the camp victim mentioned. Come on then, Toggle. That's him! The one who killed Locke and Fingers! Take his head off! Farewell! Bravo! I better let Victor know. Sid, where? Well. Ah, I see the bandits didn't. No, but no. What is it? The whole town is saying that Lubor. What? Seems that what some of the children when Lubor fell and without a. But that's not. It is. If he's a. If he had still. Fuck. I don't know what. You're right.
And now everyone knows. <laughs> I made it a habit to keep a crystal close at hand for just such an occasion. And when that occasion arose, I forgot to reach for it. <laughs> well, it was bound to come out sooner or later. We're sorry, Lubo. We tried to keep running, but we just couldn't anymore. There's nothing to be sorry for. I rather enjoyed playing the hero for once. All that matters to me is that you two are safe. Look at him talking to his betters like it's nothing. All lies are wager, just like the ones he fed us all these years. Once people make up their minds, it's hard to change them. We need to do something, and quickly. Convince the people not to let their prejudices blind them. Convince them that nothing has changed. That their enemy lies outside these walls, not within them. You're right. We should speak to everyone. I'm glad you agree. I'll handle the townsfolk. I'm a Dalmec born and bred. They listen to me. You head to the tavern. Make Conrad and Natalie remember who Lubor really is. They know that Lubor and I are friends. I might not make for the most impartial of interlocutors. Lord Underhill of Randalar's League of Merchants, however, is a trusted and impartial mediator of note. I'll do what I can. Lubor, stay here with the children. I can't promise anything, but we'll try. And that is all I can ask of you. Why do they always have to make such a... He knew all along that he was... Forgive me for... Hmm. As have I. <sighs> the rumors... He'll never... But what if his wife... In this at least he's done the... Leniency! He... I'm sorry, my lord, but he lied to us. So what do you propose? Will he... Perhaps. And they will thank... Townsfolk have made their minds up. There was nothing I could do. Nor I. Conrad and You never know. Once they're angry... All right. But you mustn't think like that. We'll talk some set. No, and your effort. But Lubo. Rosina would off that steel. Does yourself be rather an ironic one when you consider that her life was taken with a blade of her own making? But I do not doubt that she was always true to herself and what she believed in, right to the end. And so must I be. I must do what I know to be right. And now, I know what that is. I must embrace my new role of villain so that the people of Dalamil have something to unite against. For only united can they hope to stand against the threat that awaits them. I'll need to make a suitably dramatic exit, of course. Don't go, Lubor. You're the only one who was ever kind to us. We'll be all alone. Uh, again. Trust me, little ones. It is for the best that I go. Not only for the town, but for you, too. How could it possibly be for the best? These children need you. The least you can do is give the townspeople a chance to change their minds. They would not take it, Victor. It's over. Over, you say? And so just like that, you're going to throw this town and these children to the wolves? I thought you were better than this. But it seems you had me fooled as well. Victor. Forget it. Do what you will. You sure you're making the right choice, Lubo? Of those available to me, I believe it's the best one. Yes. Ah, but where are my manners? 
Here. A reward for clearing out that bandit camp. Right then. I have packing to do. If there's anything I can do. Anything. I'll bear it in mind. Thank you. I'm going to go with him.
Careful how you pack that leather. Any crystals? How are those new boots treating you? But tough as boiled bow. Lord Rossfield. Perhaps. My brother said that your order was helping him with his quest to uncover Ultima's origins. Have you learned anything of note since last we spoke? Little unless I regret to report. I see. Be assured, however, that we will not rest until the truth is known. Even now, our archaeologians scour ruins in every corner of the realm for traces of Ultima's touch. Fallen ruins, I take it. Dating back as far as Phoenix Gate. Indeed. Ultima's thralls are oft sighted among the remnants of the fallen civilization, as if protecting the secrets concealed within. Secrets we'd see unearthed. Should our methods be of interest, my lord, mayhap it would please you to observe some of our number at work. Would that be possible? Of course. A survey has been conducted not far from here. Perchance you are familiar with Kretov, a small hamlet built around a fallen airship. I was due to visit my colleagues there to collect their preliminary findings, but if you would consent to do so in my stead, I am sure that they would be honored to relate any discoveries they have made to you directly. All right. I'll go and meet with them. They will be most gratified, I am sure. Might I suggest you take the road through Titan's Wake? It will lead you straight to the village after but a short walk. Thank you. I will. I wish...
Good girl. Faster! Ah, Clive. That is good news. Yes. But I still have much. You couldn't. What, nothing. I just fine. All right. Thanks, Clive. Don't blame your... I know, but... No buts about it, all right? Is something wrong? Vonnie came to give me a message from our intermediary. The talks with the Republican Army have fallen through. They've reached an agreement with the Silver Peak Consortium instead. Though prices have fallen of late, we deliberately offered above the going rate to try and deter other bidders. But the consortium offered double what we did, and the army jumped at the chance. And you had no op None at all. L? Uh, and with good. But how did the. It's not. This isn't. I'm going. Alone. Are you offering. How can't you go to Cashlock, even if I. F someone needs. Oh, and that. Well. For me to. You'll never chew me. You have to. You're right. And if L's, so I be, I'll get. You go to. I'll do. All right. To Randalar then. And better not keep Eloise waiting. Ugh! <sighs> 
hope I didn't keep you up to do a race. You wished to consult. I did. We had all but finished me. You misunderstand. The consortium had an interest in purchasing them from the very first. It was only our regard for you that kept us from... And so we resumed our business. I did not. But what is done is done. Come then. How much do you want for them? Alas, you are too late yet again. We rarely take off the bearers belong. Who is your... A trade... A most of my... That's what... I wouldn't... Oh, yeah. They pay good money. That does... No matter. And with... My sis... I'm sorry you weren't able to save them. As am I. But I only have myself to blame. He was right, you see. The Silver Peak Consortium did intend to buy those bearers before I did. Their representative hinted at a possible purchase when he came to recruit me. I feigned interest in joining them in the hope he might be encouraged to tell me more. And he did just that. As soon as he left, I sent my own offer to Randall R. So you never... No. I entertained the Consortium's proposal solely so I could learn more about those bearers. But I was a fool to think they wouldn't find out. I knew exactly who I was dealing with. You tried? I did. And if what he said was true, the bearers are to be well treated. Which is something, at least. But they deserved more. I wanted so badly to see them freed. Eloise! Eloise! Word from Cashlock. The village is under attack. A pack of beasts have come down from the mount. Theo and the others are trying to... They need help. Theo. I'll go on ahead. Thank you, Cla I'll gather... Hold on, Theo. River. He led the drive. We just have to pray he makes it out. I can do better.
can't waste any more time. I need to find Theodore before that dragon does. Looks like it's found me. This thing's turned as well. This isn't going to be easy. Me worried for we have to get you out of here. I think it might be a little too late for that. There are or no, there's only so much ether a man can take, and that Drake just wouldn't let me leave. You have my thanks, Sid, for finishing what I could not. For keeping Elle's dream. Theodore!
Vigil. Wait. Goodbye. Thank you, Clive. I think I'll be all right now. That was true bravery, he showed. Leading the dragon away from the village like that. His first instinct was always to protect people. To put others' well-being before his own. And now he's gone. Because I sent him to that place against his will. It wasn't against his will. He was ready to do whatever it took to show you he could stand on his own. So that you would finally be free to live your own life. To live my own life? He never could come to terms with the choice I made. What exactly happened? You once told me Theo was the first bearer you ever helped. We grew up in Canva. We were born to one of the great trading houses. And I was chosen to inherit the family business. I had my father's head for figures, you see. Theo did not. While I studied the art of commerce, he played at soldiers instead. A late bloomer, in more ways than one. For unlike most bearers, it wasn't until his 15th summer that his powers awakened. My parents tried to drive him out of the house and into the care of the constables. But before they could, I took him into mine. Theo told me something else. He clearly admired your devotion to the cause of freeing others like him from slavery. But he said you deserved a better life than this. He wanted to free you from what he called your bonds, just as you freed him from his. I would be lying if I said I had not wondered from time to time how much easier my life might have been if I had allowed Theo to be taken and devoted myself to the family business instead. But I have never regretted the decision I made. Being with my brother meant more to me than tradition or reputation. I only had to look at him to remind myself of that night and the choice I made and the fact that I would make this. He was, if anything. You weren't, that he had all, and that he, neither you nor Theo, you did, and you all. You're right. It was so we could be together. Oh, Theo. <laughs> I need so I'll bringing smiles and to Theo's. This is the life. I've made a choice to continue helping. Thank you. Let's go on.
welcome, welcome. An excellent choice. You've a keen eye. I do like a customer who knows what he wants. An excellent choice. I got peppers to numb your tongue up. There were ghosts at the gates, not days. Those things I said before. and I may soon be without a home. What's happened? The High Cardinal has descended from his lofty throne and taken up residence... The High Cardinal? ...leader of the Council of Elders, second only to his radiance at the head of the Imperial government. Not that any of those things still exist. Now he goes by his noble title, the Duke of Oriflam. And what does he want with Northridge? He wants to transform it into a military stronghold. A foundation upon which to build a new Sambrek. He's already secured the support of the various army remnants. With promises that they shall be afforded the respect they deserve in his empire. One built on the confiscated property. He would rob them. Believe me. What does Captain... When the town... How? A man. The Captain... No. A given... No. Cly. Would he... For your... And up... Well... Thank Tell me in the over. Aura. I may have met this Duke before. Or at the remembrance ceremony. Let's hope I didn't make a strong impression. Sorry about that. You got some business with the captain? No, I was hoping I might be able to speak with him. We're under orders not to let any civilians pass. But you should be all right. His eminence has heard all about you and your heroics. Wait here. I'll go and ask. So... You are the sellsword who lent his aid to the garrison. The Empire owes you a debt, and I shall see it repaid. But tell me, is it wealth that you seek, or favor? Neither your... Ah, you are worried the expanded garrison will render your services redundant. Yet you needn't be. A proud fighting man like yourself shall always have a place here. Pride of place, in fact. For too long has the contribution of the noble soldier been underreckoned, but no more. For it is they who shall see the Holy Empire rebuilt, beginning right here in Northreach. Why here, Your Eminence? The town has been fortunate enough to escape largely unscathed from the recent troubles. Her defenses are sound, and her garrison well prepared. Which is more than can be said for Oriflam or Twinside. The Empire wants for a capital, and I believe Northreach to be the perfect place. With Care Norvant as her, we need plan soon enough. I Should they? If San, one who's or that is so that I precise. The common folk have little and less, and you mean to deprive them of even that? You would sow the seeds of your new empire in your own salted earth. Sabine, we have discussed this. Yes, and I told you then how putting the empire before her citizens would lead only to revolt. Without an empire... And in yours, there will be only beggars. Is that... Do not take her name in vain, Sabine. 
I'll come back later. The citizens revolt. I wonder what the people really think of the Duke's plan. It wouldn't hurt to ask them, I suppose. Let's begin with those on the other side of the wall. Sabine, you are embarrassing me. <laughs> You're embarrassing yourself. What can I do for you? I've been here. Okay, I'm with I... uh -huh. Just need. I got peppers to numb your tongue up. Right. Just no one. No, it's thanks. And that is the. I heard the dame got an eye concert with the man. A question, if you don't mind. What do you think of the Duke of Oriflam? Mm, don't get me started. You build a life for yourself somewhere, only for some noble to turn up and tell you you've got to hand it all over to him. If he thinks his name and his chains give him the right to empty our purses, he's in for a rude awakening. We'll do whatever it takes to keep what's ours. Whatever it takes. Well, the people seem united enough. What about the soldiers? There were ghosts at the gates, not days ago. Um, is it as if I left everything as long as you remain? The veil will see. Sabine, you are embarrassing me. I hear that. Do you think he's all up? Look, once. I mean, the trait thing, the ju and if that... Hmm. Let's see what Philippe makes of all this. Captain. For you? Thank you for that. How can I help? I wanted to ask you about the duty. Do you intend to go on? To tell you that it's my swap. Philippe, I remember you saying that you became a soldier to protect the people you loved. The dame included. That's right. I did. Well, she doesn't agree with the Duke's orders either. She thinks they could tear Northreach apart. <sighs> and she's probably right. Thank you, Clive. I know what I need to do now. Protecting the people I love is what matters. Doesn't matter how. Well, duty calls, so I better go. Thanks again. It seems Philippe wants to do the right. I think at least. I expect Isabel will be pleased to hear that, if nothing else. Oh, 
Were you able to... I was. <sighs> well, though I doubt it, they deserve to be heard, Clive. Sadly, his eminence values their obedience more than their opinions, and hopes to reassert the authority of the state. I fear he sees the people as mere pawns on his chest. Needless to say, they themselves are of a different opinion, and would rather their destinies. But soldiers, meanwhile, are content of, and not just because of the Duke's rank. I thought as much. Had I sworn to protect Sambrek? Thank you. I don't know about... What happened to your uniform? I told the lads I... But why? Because I realized what really matters to me. Not following some nobleman's orders for the sake of it, protecting Northreach. I honestly don't know when those monsters will... But I'm certain they're not finished with us yet. And when they do come back, we need to be ready for them. We need to stand together, all of us. And with you to lead us, my lady, I reckon we can do it. It was you who finally convinced me, Clive. There's no point following orders if they go against everything you believe. Indeed. All of us, standing together. That has always been North Reaches. We have... Thank you for... Anything. Speaking... I fear... Not at all. Wouldn't be the... There may be hope for North, especially I for my... But I suspect I... Until then. Until then. 